Boy, do we have an oil filter treat today. This old frame in a can, number XG3387A, against this new frame in a box, XG3387A. And I got this new frame ultra from Walmart for $8.97. But you may be able to find it cheaper somewhere else. And I bet you're wondering where this old frame oil filter came from. Well, a generous viewer whose name is Doug Davis from Peoria, Illinois, sent me this oil filter. Thanks, Doug. And I'm not 100% sure how old this filter is, but maybe one of you guys might know. The date code is on the screen. Best I can tell, it's from the year 2000 and made September 13th. So today we'll go back in time and see which frame is the better made oil filter. The one in a can or the one in a box? So let's get started. It's just a network. You gotta glue the silicone the nice and tight. Get your inner here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with this cool old frame in the can oil filter. And we'll start with the lid. Free inside, oil change window sticker. Unfortunately, that's gone. But the can's in kind of you know rough shape here, but we'll see what kind of information we can get off this can. It's rated for 7,000 miles. If we look over here, it'll say single pass efficiency at 96%. Look down here, 10 to 20 micron contaminants. It's a PTFE coated gasket, silicone ink drain back valve, metal screen backing, it says here steel mesh. And right here we got Honeywell and Made in USA. And if you guys want to freeze this and read it, it's not every day you see one of these uh, one of these kind of cans. It's kind of hard to read though because it's in rough shape. Okay, let's open up and see what she looks like. And the date code is A02573. And I'm assuming they didn't have Fram Ultras back then because it says Extended Guard. Honeywell, made in USA. She has eight inlet holes. Looks to be a silicone any drain back valve. Metal core with holes. And there's no bypass valve on this filter. Yeah, you got a lot of grooves there. So that's a lot of threads. Probably about four or five. And this is the PTFE coated gasket they're talking about. Which is on here pretty good. Yeah, except for the gasket. It looks like a frame ultra to me, except in the color. So the color looks like a tough guard. Okay, let's look at the new frame in the box. 20,000 mile protection, perfect seal gasket. If we look over here, we'll see dual air synthetic media provides 99% dirt trapping efficiency, silicone any drain back valve, and that micron rating is for particles greater than 20 microns. Alright, let's open it up and see what she looks like. Date code A12713. And this is all printed on, just like the other one's all printed on, also. Made in USA. She also has eight inlet holes. Looks to be a silicone any drain back valve. Metal core with holes. Also, a lot of grooves there, so a lot of threads. And this filter also does not have no bypass valve. And this looks to be a nitro rubber gasket, which comes off also pretty easy. Yeah, so let's look at these guys side by side. They're the same, same height. Base plates look pretty much the same. They actually have the same writing on them. It says 2E. This one says 2E. The little dots there but yeah they look pretty identical well except for the color well I say we cut these two filters open and uh, 
see if they're the same. I don't think they're the same because this this is a new Freedom Ultra, and it's not supposed to have the wire backing to it. So I'm I'm gonna I'm sure the insides are a little bit different. All right, be right back. Okay, here they are, cut open. Let's get their weights. The new Fram weighs 261 grams. The old Fram weighs 286 grams. Get their base plates. The new Fram weighs 114 grams. The old Fram weighs 115 grams. Yeah, these base plates are pretty identical. I think they are. Although the the old frame looks uh looks like it's got like one extra groove. Otherwise they look the same. And they both got silicone and drain back valves. So they both cover up the holes nicely. I give that a tie. Yeah, the filter element. The new frame weighs 81 grams. The old frame weighs 107 grams. Now let's take a look at the. Well, take a look at these stamp leaf springs. There's no bypass valve on these guys. So these are pretty much identical also. Let's just weigh them. 8 grams. 8 grams. Yeah, they're identical. And the cans. The new Fram weighs 51 grams. The old Fram weighs 50 grams. Also probably identical. See, that's a little glue on the bottom there. And that glue, but oil. A little bit of oil down there. Okay, let's look at the new one. We've got a uh, crimp seam here, crimp metal seam, and it counted 48 pleats. Kind of a big space here, a big gap. That's not good. You get metal end caps. And this is supposed to be uh, rated at 99% for particles greater than 20 microns. And it's a dual layered synthetic blend media. So yeah, it looks, looks pretty good except for just this one spot here with the gaps. Okay, and this is the old one. Also a metal crimp seam. And this one, I'm going by what it says on the can, so 96% at 20 microns, 10 to 20 microns. And I'm assuming that this is a synthetic media. Because that's what the old old frame ultras were, so I'm, I'm just assuming that that's what this is also. Might not be, but I, that's what I think it is. Metal end caps. They're slightly different, looking at them here. The old frame's got these little guys to keep it. Must I? Th I would think these are to keep it centered better. Let's get their widths. Actually, let's get the cans first. Check out the can width thickness. Try that again. Make sure. 0.47 millimeters thick. And let's take the right about here. Point four three millimeters thick. Let's redo this one quick. Maybe I got this wrong. Yeah, see it's a, it's it's a little bit thicker. Maybe it's just the place I've got. You know, these cans sometimes they exactly they got the lips on them and stuff, 0.44 millimeters. I would say they're exact. They're, they weigh almost the same thing, so they feel the same. And the filter media. 
the new frame is one point it's called 1.8 inches wide and the old frame is I'll call it the same thing 1.8 inches wide so you got 48 pleats on the new frame 36 pleats I don't know if I mentioned that. Yeah, it's got the old frame's got 36 pleats. So my money on, is on the new frame for having more filter media. What do you guys think? I'll cut these guys and uh, stretch them out and see how long they are. Be right back. Okay, here they are both stretched out. And the new frame is 53 and a half inches long. And the old frame is 40 and a half inches long. Okay, so let's get the thickness on these guys. This is the new frame. 0 0.90 millimeters thick. And the old frame is 1.39 millimeters thick. I'm stopping the video for a few seconds because I want to explain the new total volume measurement numbers. I got this idea from a viewer. Since filter media thickness is important and the total square inches of the filter media is also important, I'll multiply them both and get a total volume filtration number. In future videos, I'll just post the numbers and it won't affect the length of the videos. Okay, thanks. Back to the video. Let's take a look at these guys. They're both, they both got like dual layers. Yeah, how thick this is. You can tell this is, this is really thick. Thick media. And also the new one is dual layer. You can tell this looks like a cellulose backing. This looks like a synthetic backing. You can see it. The layers are kind of... I tried taking it apart here. Yeah, you can tell. Synthetic. But look at the thickness difference here. Now, the, the new one is, is stiffer. Got to give it that because it's probably, you know, because of the cellulose backing. Whereas this one is just full synthetic. Yeah, look at this. Got like multiple layers on here. But you got a lot of more filter media with the, well, not a lot more, but you got more filter media with the newer frame. So let's look at the rest of the filter. In a lot of ways, these guys are the same, and in some ways, they're different. Here's the wire backing on the old frame, metal screen backing. Because, you know, without it, this, this stuff isn't that strong. It tears fairly easy compared to the new one. The new one's a little bit harder, but it still tears, but it's a little bit a little sturdier. So these stamp leaf rings are the same. I would give these guys pretty much the same, except for the old one looks like it's got one extra thread. The cores, they look the same. They could use some more holes, though. I'd put a few more holes in these guys, because these, th these things are pretty strong. I mean, they're... they're they're ribbed here. They're, they're pretty strong. This is strong stuff. I mean, I can't squeeze it with my fingers. A lot of them I can squeeze. These guys, these guys are pretty tough. But these guys look identical, except for these things. But pretty much identical. The cans are identical. And, you know, you got a cool difference here. The can <laughs> against the box. So basically, with these guys, it's like comparing 
the older Fram Ultra, like from a couple of years ago, to the new Fram Ultra. So what do you guys think about these two filters? And again, I want to thank Doug for sending me this old Fram in the can oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The new Fram Media weighs 14 grams. The old Fram Media weighs 13 grams.